Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing two of the most popular Pixel tubes on the market right now. The Bo 360 Titan tube and the Shove It Well Sticks 180. There's a lot of videos that make comparisons between these Pixel tubes and they say like, it's really the comparison that's not a comparison because they're just so different. But I'm not gonna to try to do that today because most people are looking to get Pixel tubes to improve the convenience of their setup and improve their aesthetic. And they're not looking to get both of them. So I'm gonna give you some facts and let you make the decision yourself because they're both great lights but at the same time this is a 360 pixel tube which means that it's 360 degrees of emitted light and the show of it well 6180s is a 180 degrees of emitted light there's nothing on the back and there is a light called the show of a well 360 that's more in line with this design but they are like three times heavier than this one so I would love to get my hands on them and see like what's the difference See if it's brighter or whatnot. So probably the biggest thing on your mind, at least it was on my mind, was the price. A set of Chauvet Well Sticks is $4,100, and that includes six of them. And the set of 360 Pixel Tubes is $840 for four of them, and you can also get a charging hard case with eight of them. But today I just want to review like a single minimum set. So that is like a five times price difference. So I think that is really substantial, but most people are willing to pay more if they get more. So let's go over some of the features and see if the Shove really is worth the cost. And so something that's present with both of these is you can't buy individual Titan tubes and you can't buy individual well sticks. So a four pack of the Titan tubes comes in this nice padded case. And each light goes into a padded case during transport for extra protection. And notice that there's no room for like the included tripods to be attached during transit. But there's plenty of extra room to just set these on the top or place them inside of the included pouch. While these lights are pretty long, inside the soft shell case it's pretty lightweight. And the show that well sticks come in this plastic card case. What's so great about this design is that it is durable yet more lightweight than wood. The case itself is about 22 pounds and each light is about 3.3 pounds. If you calculate it all together, it's about 40 pounds, fully loaded. And so the minimum set of these comes with a hard shell case with no option for a soft shell case. The case does add some bulkiness, but it gives you peace of mind that your lights are protected. And this is a little bit more durable. What's really unique about the well sticks compared to other brands is that you're able to keep the tripod attached during transit. In my last performance, I was using all of these clamps as angle mounts and I can transport them with these lights if I take the tripods off. What's awesome too is that it has all of these compartments like built in to keep all of your accessories organized. It includes a compartment for your remote control, your eyelet mounts, and these magnet mounts. And the charging experience of these is a little bit mixed. It does have this charging case, which is nice, and it has like these magnetic, it's like a MagSafe magnetic charging thing. It just charges like that, and if you accidentally pull it, no harm, no foul. But you do have to have the case open when you charge it, which is kind of annoying. It'd be awesome if there was like a charging port on the side, so you could just keep this closed while you're charging it. And this case includes like a firmware updater, which they just released an update, and I'll be making a video on how to do that. And if you have a bunch of these, you can daisy chain the cases as well. Also worth mentioning, this case has like two heavy duty handles, one on the top, one big handle in the middle. So both of them are about the same length, but this one's definitely heavier and bulkier. So both of these lights basically achieve the same effect, like a pixel style wash effect with nice diffused light. And you'll notice that the 360 Titan tube is quite a bit bigger than the Wellstick 180. So, but a huge amount of the height of this pixel tube is its handle, which is kind of cool because it makes it feel more like a lightsaber. But it definitely produces a different aesthetic and some people like it, some people don't care for it. And this handle is where it houses all of the controls as well as the battery. And that's how you're able to achieve 360 degrees of light emission. The Shove lights only have the charging case. You basically have to disassemble them to charge them. But these both lights have a charging port right on the handle and you can just plug that in. Which if you think about it, is more convenient and less convenient at the same time. The Wellstix 180 has no handle to speak of. All of the controls are on the back and the batteries are all kind of embedded inside. So it's definitely a different design and a different aesthetic. And what's crazy is that they're about the same weight. This is 3.3 pounds. This is 3.7 pounds. The diameter of the well stick is quite a bit larger. The well stick has a narrower diameter, M12 threaded slot on the top and bottom, 
which is common for Chauvet products, but not common for anything else. And the Titan tube has a 1 4th inch screw hole on the top and bottom, which is a very common size because that is used with most photography equipment. So the Titan tube is about 59 inches off of the ground on a tripod, and the well stick is almost 42 inches. So this is about a full foot longer. But a huge portion of that is the handle, and the handle is about 10 inches long, and the tube itself is 47 inches. And the tube part of this minus the tripod is about 40 inches. So when you subtract this handle, both of these lights are about the same length. So don't get me wrong, the both tube is longer, and that is a big difference, but it's not quite as dramatic as when you have them side by side. This features a disappearing filter, so that when you are in a dark room, when your lights aren't on, they'll be invisible. And you can take the filter off, and then it's all white, just like that. It just pops on just like this. So both of these lights are made of plastic and metal. So both lights have wireless DMX. The Chauvet has a built-in WDMX receiver, or transceiver, because you can master slave these things. And the both Titan tube has a built-in WDMX transceiver as well, as well as normal wireless DMX. So you can control this with your Donner dongle. That is so awesome that they have both types of DMX. I kind of wish that this one did too, because I hate having a different transmitter just to control these in my rig. So the Chauvet features 64 RGB chips as well as uh, 64 warm white and cool white. The Chauvet is able to produce red, blue, green, natural white, and warm white. The Titan Pixel Tube is able to produce red, green, blue, natural white, and amber. So both pretty similar. So the Chauvet has 64 RGB light chips and 64 warm white and cool white ones. The both lighting has five in one LED chips that are RGB, cool white, and amber, and 192 of them. The both Titan tube is rated at 28 watts. The Chauvet Pixel tube is rated at 30. And there's like different specs for brightness, but I don't have those for the both tube in front of me. So the battery on the Chauvet is 6.7 amps, while the both is 9.6. But this has more LED, so it probably consumes more power. The Chauvet has different like battery modes so that you can extend the battery life for longer gigs. It goes anywhere from 3, 5, 8, and 12 hour mode. The both lighting has zones anywhere from like 1 to 12, and it's more granular unless you control it on the hour. But I found it not to be super accurate because I put it on five hour mode at a gig once and after five hours it still said it was like at 90 percent so I wasn't sure what to make of that. You can also control them with included remote controls. So this is the Chauvet's remote control and this is both. It's hard to point these remotes right at the sensors just right so these can be a little finicky but this is an option to control them. Both of these can be controlled by an app. Chauvet has a Wellcom app that is free to download, but it requires additional hardware. But it's nice because all your lights connect to the hub and then the app controls the hub, in turn giving you control of each of your individual lights. These both lights, they have an app as well that is free to download and requires no additional hardware, but you can only control one light at a time. You're making a direct Wi-Fi connection directly to the control panel of this thing. So you'd have to do some sort of master-slave configuration and you couldn't like do chases or anything. There's various modes of DMX control. So you can manually control like the individual pixels. You can get a little bit more granular with this one. You can control up to 32 individual zones. While the well sticks, the max control you can have is 16 zones. And Chauvet now has a mode where you can control each of the 16 individual zones and leverage the built-in macros through DMX, but the both tube does not have that. You have to leverage the built-in macros or do individual zone control. So both of these have their own built-in macros. Both can be leveraged on like auto mode that you can control with the IR remote or DMX. But a huge difference is that the both lighting has sound active mode while the Chauvet does not. And to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with standalone operation. I feel like the Chauvet Freedom Sticks, I know a product that's not being demoed here today, but the Freedom Sticks have macros that run across several lights and I think it's just the most ideal standalone operation I have seen out of any like battery pixel tube. And neither the well sticks or the both tubes really offer that. They offer macros that are kind of limited to themselves, to the own individual tube. And you really have to leverage DMX if you want to get the most out of them. So both of them have a mode where you can just like go through all of the different macros in auto mode. 
the both lighting, you're able to have different colors used like at the same time. And the Chauvet one kind of does. So right now it's an auto mode. So it cycles through red, green, blue, and white. And you can also choose like the background color. Right now it's black, so it's nothing, but I could set that. But I feel like that's pretty rigid while this one is able to do more. I'm not a fan of like all of the macros. I feel like that the macros on this one are a little bit smoother, like the patterns it does, but I like more multicolored macros, maybe like a rainbow fade or something. As far as like brightness and on the camera, I mean, I'll let you decide. Both are on five hour mode. I think that the Shovey one just looks gorgeous in cameras. It just looks really nice. It just has a certain crispness that the both one does not have. But that's not to say that they aren't both nice eye candy effects and I don't like the both. I do like the both one. While both come with tripod stands, the Chauvet one is noticeably better built and doesn't have the chance of getting loose and falling apart every time you take it on and off. And as previously stated, you can transport the well sticks with the tripod already attached. Both lights can be mounted on a microphone stands to give a little bit of additional height. The bottom heaviness of the both tube actually provides a little extra stability. While you can kind of mount the both tube at an angle, it looks clunky as it is asymmetrical and bottom heavy. You do have some creative mounting options with the Chauvet well sticks, especially with the included magnetic mounts. And you can connect the Chauvet well sticks together to create like a seamless effect so that it looks like one long tube or a lightsaber without a handle. Ouch! For the most part, you're going to get more support and service for the Chauvet lights. Like they offer a one year warranty that they will repair it for you. And while the people at both Lighting Direct, the manufacturer in China, are really nice, they're limited in the amount of support and service they can give. And if you order through Both Lighting USA, you'll pay a premium, but that is one way you can get some support and some service for your Both Lighting lights. Just something to think about. Now it's time to get down to a verdict. Which light is better? And to be honest, both of them are amazing. Both basically serve the same function. Both have a similar aesthetic. Both of them make setting up extremely convenient with a no cables workflow. Both have the same blessing slash curse of a wide dispersion of light. The Chauvet is noticeably better in most categories like build quality, number of accessories, versatility for mounting in creative ways, easier to control professionally, and it just looks better on camera. But for many, the features are barely noticeable or not even applicable to their situation and it just might not be worth the premium price. That isn't to say that the both Titan tube is a bad light, au contraire. It's been really reliable since I've been using it and it has great functionality and is beautiful eye candy. The both Titan tube did even win in some outlier categories, like having the sound active option and being able to work with WDMX and normal wireless DMX. Just note that I didn't stress test like the range or reliability of the wireless DMX. But it's like a luxury sedan versus an economical sedan. Both have four wheels, and both can get you from point A to point B. And the luxury sedan might have nice features that you are willing to pay extra for. But at the end of the day, with our Pixel Tube Mania, both of them have wireless DMX, both of them have a built-in battery, both of them have a similar aesthetic. So I don't think you can go wrong with either option. And I think that the Chauvet lights are definitely more of an investment. But if those features are really important to you, then I think it'll be worth it. So let me know what you think. Which Pixel Tube seems more appealing? Which one are you more likely to get? Which one did you purchase and are you happy with your purchase? Let me know down below. Please leave those questions down below as well and smash like and subscribe. Once we get to 2000 subs, we'll do a channel intro. And I'll see you in the next video.